this year is the year of the ox. I thought it would be super fun and super cute to make this adorable ox rug for somebody in your life. And I hope you like it. So if you want to make it, just keep watching. I use this yarn called Gazelle Marine. And it is a 97% Australian wool with 3% of I'm not really sure what elastane is, but I'm assuming it's some kind of elasticy type thing. And we're using the color 5510, and it's just a rich brown. This is the same yarn that I used for my reindeer rug, if you're familiar with that. But uh, anyway, today's video tutorial is going to be a little bit different because it is a very big pattern, so I will be doing it from the ground, and I hope that you're able to follow along. What we need is the yarn itself. We need some sharp scissors, a 15 millimeter hook, or you could just do it by hand, as well as some kind of a ribbon for a stitch marker because it's quite big. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Now what we're going to do is open up this yarn. We need to find the very end of it. So I see that the yarn is over here and then you'll see these little, um, they're tied together. So I try to look for the knotted area and I just cut on one side of the knot. So I cut it there and then gently take this out. So that is releasing the binding so that this doesn't um, tangle up during transit. And then there's another one here. You just need to cut and then gently pull that out. Now it is knotted together, so you need to find where the knot is and just undo it. So this is the beginning and the end of it. So it's up to you if you want to pull from the inside or pull from the outside. So I'm going to attempt to do this by hand instead of using a crochet hook. So I'm going to, I think instead I'm going to chain two. And then let's place six single crochets into the, the first chain or the, the second chain from the hook. So we only made two. So um, go ahead and do six single crochets. place two single crochets. So we're increasing each, each stitch. And also we don't want to lose our place. So that was my first stitch. So that's where this ribbon comes in handy. So we remember that this is the first stitch. And then go ahead and place another single crochet. that stitch. So let's do it all the way around. So now you see it's starting to take shape. It's already quite big. And the next round, what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet and then increase in the next. So you're just going to repeat that all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my stitch marker. I'm going to place a single crochet in here and then mark that stitch so that we don't lose our place. Then increase in the next and then go ahead and repeat that all the way around.
So you can already see that the shape is growing very, very big. And now what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches, and then we will increase in the stitch after that. We will repeat that six times. So let's go ahead and do that. Single crochet. This is the first stitch. That's why the stitch marker comes in so, so handy. And then here's our second stitch. So that's two single crochets and then increase. And then next. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. single crochet three and then increase so place that stitch marker in so we have one and then two and then three and then increase in the next so that's one and two in the same stitch. Okay. Bit different we're doing four single crochets with an increase uh, hopefully you're following along in the pattern but we're staggering it a little bit so that all the increases don't grow in the same place so what we're going to do first is we're going to place one single crochet and make sure you mark this because this is really important since it's not your stick like uh, the usual what we're doing even though it will achieve the same thing. So we have one single crochet here and we're going to increase in the next. And I'll just go in with a new yarn ball. Okay, now from here, we are going to do the sequence. We're going to single crochet in four stitches. So the next four stitches will have one single crochet. After that, we will put an increase and we're going to repeat that five times. So go ahead and do that. And meet me towards the end when we have three stitches left over. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, and then increase in the next.
Now we should only have three stitches left over. So one, two, three. You're going to place a single crochet in each of these three. Single crochet per. Okay, so now on this round, we are going to do um, five single crochets and then increase and repeat that six times. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's see, here's the next stitch. So that's our first single crochet. And remember to always mark that with a stitch marker. I'm using just my Christmas ribbon. But um, since I'm recording this all by myself, I can't really tell if I'm on camera or not. But if you have downloaded the pattern, uh, you should be okay. So, um, so here's my first and then second and then third, fourth, fifth, and let's increase in that last one. Repeat that all the way around. We are on our last round, but this will be an incomplete round because we want to make some ears. And Friends, I just realized as I was editing the video that um, my explanation of the double crochet and slip stitch is off camera. So I'm coming back here to show you how to do that. So basically in round eight of the pattern, I'm going to have you do, and obviously this is not the same yarn because I've already used it up. So I'm making sure that I'm on camera now. So when you're doing two double crochets and a slip stitch into the first stitch of that round, you're going to yarn over you're going to insert your hook or your hands, whichever you're, whichever one you're doing. You'll yarn over just like this. You'll draw up that loop. You're, you'll yarn over and go through two. You'll yarn over and go through two again. So that was your double crochet. So you're gonna do it again by yarning over, inserting your hook, yarning over, drawing up that loop. You have three loops. Now you're going to yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. So that was two double crochets that we've just done. And then into that same stitch, we're going to slip stitch, which inserting your hook, yarning over, drawing up that loop, pulling it all the way through so that you only have one loop on the hook. So what that does is that it makes this kind of curved shape for the ox's ear. And then later I ask you to do um, single crochets in the next eight stitches. So you would just single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight. Obviously this is not, I didn't do enough, but let's just pretend like this is the same thing as the rug. Now, the very final one we'll do is two double crochet and single stitch in the same stitch, which is exactly what we did earlier. I just want to show you one more time. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw it up, yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, go through two into the same stitch. 
one more time. Yarn over, insert, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. And then into the same stitch, we're going to slip stitch. So insert your hook, draw up a loop, but keep going. That's it. And then you leave the remaining stitches unworked. So I will go back to the video where it cut off the information, but this is actually what you need to do. We're going to take the stitch marker out of the first one. We are going to, um, we're going to double crochet. So if you know how to do that, you just yarn over, insert into the next stitch, draw up a loop, and then we're going to yarn over, go through two loops, yarn over, and go through two loops. So as you can see, it's starting to look like an ear. So we're gonna do that one more time. So we're gonna put two double crochets in the same stitch. So yarn over, go in the same stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through two, yarn over and go through two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch so that it looks like an ear. So go ahead and do a slip stitch by drawing up a loop and just bringing it through. So that's our ear right there. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to single crochet. That's one single crochet, two single crochets, three single crochets, four single crochets, five single crochets, and then six single crochets, seven single crochet, and then eight single crochets. So now in here, we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to do two double crochets and then a slip stitch into the same stitch. So yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, Yarn over and bring through two. Yarn over, bring through two. Yarn over, draw up a loop, go through two, go through two. And then we're doing a slip stitch. So you just go through and bring it up just like that. And you wanna weave in the ends, but that those are our ox ears over here. So you might need to, depending on your tension, you need to pull on it gently. And we have ears, and then I'll show you how to do the eyes, the snout, and the horns in just a second. 0.5 millimeter hook, and we're going to place a slip knot onto our chain. And now what we're going to do is we're going to chain two. Now from here, we're going to place two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. So go ahead, two single crochets, one, two. Great, and then we're going to chain one and turn. Now we're going to place two single crochets in each stitch. So that's one, two, three, So now we have four stitches, chain one and turn. We're going to um, place two single crochets in that first stitch. We're going to single crochet in the next and single crochet after that, and then increase in the last. Going to chain one and turn. And we're going to single crochet in every stitch across. Four, five, six. Okay. Now we're going to single or chain one and turn. We're going to increase in that first stitch and then single crochet across until the last stitch. So single crochet one, two, three, four, and then increase in the last stitch. Just like that. Chain one and turn. 
So now we're going to single crochet across. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And let me see. Uh, what we'll do is to make it a nice border, I think it would be nice to place a single crochet all the way around. So go ahead and just chain one and just eat just evenly um, single crochet around. And then on this top one, maybe I'll do one, two, and three. Three in that very top corner so that we can make it turn. And then go ahead and go along the other side. So we'll do one, the same as before, two, three, um, four. And then now we're back to, um, our first first stitch here so go ahead and do a single crochet there and I think that looks really nice just like that and then we can sew it in here so I'm going to make the second one off camera stitch marker and your white yarn art jean plus yarn and go ahead and let's do a magic ring of eight place two single crochets in each stitch. So that's an increase in each stitch around. It is single crochet and then increase. And repeat that all the way around. So I have one increase. Um, two single crochets and then increase in the next. I'm going to repeat that eight times around. So that's one, two, increase. Let's just single crochet around, S single crochet in every stitch. And I think that's a really nice size and we'll clean fasten off, leaving a very, very fairly long tail because uh, we want to sew that in and I would grab a tapestry needle like that and we're going to clean fasten off and clean fasten off is something that a lot of um, amigurumi people like to do we will just pull that yarn tail out so that it's coming out of the last stitch just like so. Add your tapestry needle here and then 
we're going to skip the first stitch of the round and go into the second one. Go right under through like that, pull it out to the back, and then we're going to go back into the last stitch of the round in the middle, just like that, like the back loop. You're going to gently, gently without tangling it up, pull. And when you do that, you've made a fake stitch on top of the other one. And when you pull gently, then it looks like a perfect circle. So go ahead and maybe go under a few stitches in the back. And then later you can, you know, weave this in and it's ready for sewing later for the eyes like this. And it's going to look absolutely amazing. So I'll get my black yarn and show you what we're going to do with the eyes. Yarn Art Gene Plus again. And this one, we're going to do magic ring again. And this time we're going to do six. So go ahead and magic ring six. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Tighten that up. We're going to increase in every stitch. So it's really hard for me to see so far away. Okay, so you're just placing two single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 12 single crochets. So go ahead and do that. and then increase in the next and you're going to repeat that all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so that's one that is it <laughs> And then we'll put it right here for his eyes. And we're also going to do a clean fasten off for this one. So follow the steps that I just showed you by pulling the yarn tail out just like that. Take out the stitch marker, placing the tail on a tapestry needle, and then skipping that first, oops, skipping that first stitch of the round going into the second stitch of the round, just under it like that. And then going into the last stitch where the yarn is coming out of, and you can directly go under the back bump if you want. And yeah, you could secure it under a few other stitches if you want, but that is a perfect circle that we see right there. You can adjust it by pulling on the yarn tail using your tapestry needle to help, help it along, but the eyes are done. So basically we're doing it like this and you can go ahead and sew that into the eyes. You can put it in the center if you like, but I'm going to put it off center like this for a cute like sideways look. And I'll be back in just a little bit to show you how to do the snout, the nostrils. Okay friends, now we're going to grab our snout colored yarn. So I'm using this one by Yarn Art Gene Plus. It's in the colorway 05. It's a um, cream color. And um, I think it's actually called beige, but anyway, it'll be in my pattern detail so that you can find it directly at hopiumyarns.com. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do some chains. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain 45. So go ahead and do that. I'll do that as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have 45 here. So we're going to double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So we're going to go from one, two, three, and you're going to go ahead and place a double crochet there. Now, if you're not uh, too familiar with uh, the stitches and 
it's always a good idea just to mark it just so that you know that it's there like that and what we're going to do is we're just going to do um, 41 double crochets on the chain so go, I'm gonna do it down here um, I'll show you one just so that you can get familiar with double crochet you're going to yarn over insert your hook right there yarn over draw up a loop you have three on your hook yarn over go through two yarn over and go through the last two so that adds some height so go ahead and do a total of 41 all the way down basically until you get to the last stitch when you get to the last stitch we'll do some increases so just go all the way to here and then wait for me at the last stitch okay so now i've done my 41 total double crochets we're going to place six double crochets into this last chain right here so what that's going to do is when we add six we'll be able to um, turn our work evenly and then work on the other side of the chain so go ahead and just place six double crochets in here in the last chain so you know it's no different than what we just did we're just going to insert our hook yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and go through two yarn over and go through two and that's one one double crochet so let's do five more so that's my second third fourth fifth and six now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the other side of the chain and we're going to place a uh, double crochet in each chain here on the back side. So it's, it's going to be very easy. It's going to line up. You see the next one is right there. You just make a double crochet right into that same spot right there. So we're going to go back on the chain all the way, all the way over here. And we're going to do 41 total. I'm going to do it on um, time lapse because it's going to take a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and um, you can pause the video if you'd like. Total stitches on the other side of the chain after we've done that increase over there. So we did 41 double crochets and now into the very very last stitch we're going to do five double crochets into that last chain or the last chain. So it's one, two, three, four and five now i know i'm moving a bit quickly but if you download the pattern for free on hobiumyarns.com their blog it's it will be a lot easier to follow along it's just that since this is such extreme hooking i'm moving a bit quicker because um i'm in an awkward shape over here but um what we do here is we're just going to slip stitch to that first first um first stitch of the round so go ahead and just do a slip, slip stitch by <laughs> inserting your hook and yarning over, bringing it through all the way so that it's just like that. Now we're starting the next round and we're going to chain three. Now this, this chain counts as a stitch. So if you really want to, you can mark that, that very, very, very last chain that you've done just so that you're aware. Because I know when I was starting out, sometimes I couldn't tell where that um, chain was when it counted as a stitch so don't don't worry if you don't need it I <laughs> I personally use it just in case because sometimes I get lost in thought but anyway what we're going to do is we're going to place double crochets all the way to almost to the end
Now into the next stitch, we're going to place one, two, three double crochets. And then we'll do another three, one, two, and three into the next stitch. So go ahead and do that. Okay, friends, so let's just do 46 um, double crochets across and I'll meet you back here. So now I've done my 46 double crochets and now in the next stitch, we're going to do one, two, three double crochets. And then the stitch after that, we're also going to do one, two, three, just like we did before. And you're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain. So sometimes it's nice to have that mark just so that you know, right? Just like that. You're going to chain three. You can mark the top of that chain just so that you know. So now that you got the hang of how to do this, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the pattern. And with each round that I finish, I'm going to come back and show you what I've done. Round two done. Going on round three now. Round three is done. I'm moving on to round four now. Final round is done. So go ahead and leave an extra, extra, extra long tail uh, because we need to sew this in. So just pull out a lot of yarn, tons and tons of yarn so that we can secure this in later. Okay, friends, we're going to do the nostrils. So go ahead and grab your Yarn Out Jean Plus in pink. So I have the colorway 74, which is a light pink color. And all we need to do is we need to chain four. So go ahead and chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook, which is just the first chain that we made earlier. It's so just like that. Now that chain earlier, right here, counts as a stitch. So right now we have two double crochets so go ahead and mark that chain right there so that we know that there's one double crochet and two double crochets. Now what we're going to do, we need a total of 12 double crochets. So we have two here done already. We put one in, so two total. Now we're going to do our third into the same chain, fourth, fifth, sixth, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oops, that one did not go very well. Ten, eleven, and twelve. So just like that. So double check. That's that's our first one right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Excellent. Now we're going to slip stitch into that first one right there, just like that. And then after this, we're going to chain three. Now this chain three counts as a double crochet, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that chain because I know in the beginning when I was starting out that really helped a lot. So we're going to place a double crochet into the same stitch where that chain is coming out of. So that's a, an increase, a double crochet increase. We're going to place two double crochets in each stitch around. So that was our first one. This is our second set. Third. Fourth. Ninth, tenth, eleven, and twelfth increase. So now you should have twenty four double crochets in this round. 
and we're just going to slip stitch to the first and we're done. So go ahead and leave a long tail for sewing in and make two of these. So now that we have everything done, all we need to do is to sew everything in. So you're just going to sew in the nostrils just like that. And let me zoom out just a tad bit. You will do the irises onto the eyes in any way that you want. And then we'll sew everything in wherever you like. The horns need to go right next to the ears. So just one stitch inside the ear. So the ear is here. So now it depends if you like it um, triangular shape, you can just you know, shape it into a triangle, but I kind of like it in a circular form. So it's up to you. I'm going to sew all of this in and I'll show you what it looks like at the very end. Well, we finished it, friends. I hope you enjoyed that pattern. You can find it in all of my shops or for free on Hobium Yarns blog. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to both of our channels as well as leaving us a comment letting us know if you liked it. And I hope everyone has a wonderful, safe, happy and healthy lunar new years i'm annie gurumi and with hobium i was able to bring this pattern to you thank you so much for watching